What we're going to do next is add a form in. And uh, to do this, we'll just uh, first move the data grid up, uh, the declaration. And we'll enter our form down here. Now, what is a form? A form is basically a Spark container, and it lets you add form fields and bind data to and from it. So it's a way to uh, enter form data into your programs or build a form based on a model. Um, later on, when you get really proficient at using Flex, you'll find yourself using forms quite often. So within the form, we can add a form item. And the form item uh, will have a label. And uh, this is programmatically links the actual form field to its caption. So in this case, uh, we're going to use the same uh, uh, names as the uh, headers that were up inside of the XML. And close off that. So we're actually creating a uh, XML container. MXML container, rather. And then inside of here, we'll add a label. And uh, the text for the label uh, is going to use the binding expression. And we're going to take the data grid. Uh, there's a selected item. And we can take the selected item's name, which will be name with a lowercase. If you want to do this for a few more uh, items, again, hold down your Alt and Command key. And uh, we can change these to phone and uh, email. And likewise, we have to uh, get the selected item here. And make sure this is lowercase. Okay, so what is a selected item? A selected item will be uh, thrown. It's an event uh, selection is made when you actually press your mouse down over top of one of the uh, grid columns or the grid rows. Um, so I'm going to now run it. I may have to uh, try this once. You can see now that it's actually picking up and getting access to which one is selected. And this is a very, very common thing you'll want to do with data grids. Okay, that concludes this section of the data grid videos.